Don't know what's going on, what's going on. Oh, shit, who we got in the building today, y'all? Yeah, I know, you know, know about it. It's your boy Prince Pooty. Whole lot of 10 I no shit. Damn. Damn, let me see that chain. Oh, y'all got yeah. like, yo, the other day, man, we seen some shit with you, man. Like, you know what I mean? You was letting your hands work. With, Fuck um, ops, bro. You like, with, niggas uh, are grateful, niggas gotta wash their mouth. Just regular street shit, bro. Feel me? What? Niggas ungrateful. It's a fact. Man. So, all right. So, you know you know how the um internet be. Niggas are saying, boy, ratted or something. It ain't nothing like that. Nah. It, okay. It, 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 ain't, it ain't no 6 9 business. Not okay. That, that <laughs> business, not at all. Okay, okay. Right. right. Where you from? You from Knossi? Nah, I'm from Star, I'm from Herkimer. Okay. I fuck with Knossi, though. Huh? Okay, okay. Herkimer. That's what, that's what's up. Yeah, man. A lot of, um... Out of the new generation coming up, it ain't been too many young um star artists popping off. But I guess you know you next up then. I mean you got my son Rich Bob, I Millie Bucks, feel me, Rich Boy Ma. Mm-hmm. Spaz old die, they doing their thing. Okay. Feel me? Okay. Oh, that's what's up, that's what's up. Hell yeah. Yo. So like, you know what I mean? Do you think like uh that uh, the, the video everybody seen the other day gonna hurt your image or it's gonna help your image? Like, you know what I'm saying? What you I think? mean, quite frankly, bro, like, right. I'm not really an internet nigga, so I don't give a fuck. Ah. What it do for me? I'm gonna be pooty regardless. I okay. need to suck my dick. Yeah. I know the case. For me, long story short, he was on Lowy Boy, was talking crazy, but that's gonna happen to anybody. He ain't getting put on anybody that. For me, like, a certain lines you don't cross. You get what I'm saying? Everybody human. We put on our socks the same way every day, bro. Mm. Feel me? Nah, real shit. Yeah, so um, so now you're you're basically the uh the new up and comer on the label. That's a fact. All right. Heat coming, videos coming, mixtape coming real soon. Oh yeah, other I need to suck my dick. We gonna shit on y'all niggas. Big nah, no. Well, it's about time though. Yeah, wow, that's a fact. That's a fact. What, well, bro? Yeah. What uh, what music you got out there though? Let the people know. Like, in case they never heard any of your shit and all that. He dropped some shit called None Left. Like three weeks ago, that shit had 10k already. Other shit, feel me? Mm -hmm. That's my latest shit though. Then I got some shit called Jacket shit about to drop. We just shot a video yesterday. Like mm -hmm. a snippet of that. Work. What? Real shit. So you got any um, you got any heat out there yet with any with anybody like OP or anybody yet? Man, OP got some shit in. Oh well. Yeah, with Joshy Baller Camo, feel me? I just be working with the gang. I ain't really get to let me do my thing yet. What? What? You you plan on doing it though? Oh, These just, niggas want me to, for me. I don't really fuck with niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Okay, okay. So you just on some straight, yeah, 1090 shit. Right, hey, man. Nah, all right, that's, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Yo, so like, in the stop. This shit hitting, boy. Talk your shit, talk your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo in, the, yo, in the style, you getting that love that you need? That's a fact, that's a fact, bro. Right. Shout out my niggas on the age, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yo, so so Herkuma, Herkuma, they they fuck with the drill type flow or what, what's what's going like, on over there? Feel me? It's a lot of creativity going on over there. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So we everybody in like everybody got their lane, so it'd be like mad different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, right. What's your lane? What what type of flows you got? Let the people know. Shit, you got you got Pooty. That's the nigga. He be he be. Feel me? Singing to the bitches, then you got wop, wop. He just retarded. He saw drill. That's that drill shit. Feel me? Mm -hmm. Retarded. That was mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard some shit um, from you. You had some shit with like you was like kind of like flow, kind of singing, kind of shit. Hell yeah, that's booty right there. You ain't, <laughs> okay. you, ain't, you ain't talking to him right now. Bro. Okay, okay, okay. Facts. You know, wop time. Facts, facts. So, uh, booty. That's your rap name. Yeah, Prince Booty. Like, all right. So if we wanna if we wanna look your shit up, what the exactly type in? Prince, P R I N C E P O O D I E. Okay, okay. Hey, you changed it. It's not Prince like Pooty no more. That's my Instagram name. Okay. What? Oh, alright, so your Instagram name is Prince like Pooty. Yeah, stage name Prince Pooty. Don't get it confused. Oh, God. So you got Scooby here with you? Yes, sir. What's up, man? So I actually ain't even want to do the interview today. Like, I ain't. Nah, I know. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't in all Yeah, I've been trying to stay out, stay out the way, but it's like. I, I really had to just clear the air, the air upon so like, mm -hmm. like when it came to when it came to when it came to boy, it's like niggas did everything for that man. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. from the cars, the access to the cars, the jewelry, the clothes, clothes, clothes off niggas' back, shoes. Like you know what I'm saying, like niggas really did everything for him, and it's like he really turned around and said, "Fuck niggas." 
without saying fuck niggas, but he was saying fuck niggas. And it's like, how you could move like that with niggas that got you in position where you was at? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Mel's like, we're not nah, gonna sugarcoat sure. nothing here. Like, real sure. who, you knew son a year ago? You knew of son two years ago? You want me to be real? Yeah. Or just, you know, I keep it out now. I know about him from you. All right, so, so come on. And, and, from, scra- and, and from Scrap. And, 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 I, and, I, and I know as many people that feel that same way, even with Scrap, you know what I'm saying? Mel's like, you know, we real niggas at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? That situation, whatever, whatever, that's whatever. Like, but we got our own yeah. report. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, I, I was doing Scrap a favor. You feel me? That's, that's Scrap artist. I told Scrap I was gonna help him out with the situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like the situation and it, 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 it nasty. Like right. and niggas ain't even know. Like I hear, I hear a lot of shit. Niggas is chasing clout. Niggas want clout. Like we came into this situation with clout. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a bunch of followers, real followers, before I met Son. I got them now. So I don't understand how they say people chasing clout. Like. Well, clout for what? I yeah. have clout. Like, right, that's why I asked, you yeah, that, about right, that's why clout. I asked him like, you know, if, if you think that's gonna affect his image at all and, or anything and like that. Then it's to, and and if, that's another thing, go back to that image, but my fans already know. WAP is retarded mm-hmm. all the way. Like, and, and not even a cup. Right, so, so they know you like that in real you know what I mean, real life shit. Whatever, whatever. Yeah, they I let I let I let my fans into my life because they support me, you get what I'm saying? Right. And I not even a cut little bro off, but it's like I hear people saying like niggas lined them, niggas jumped them. Like, yeah, no, 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 nobody didn't jump him. Secondly, he 18 and niggas ain't tell him what to do. He mm-hmm. felt his own way. Like, niggas ain't amp him up, yo, put hands on a nigga. Mm-hmm. Niggas ain't do nothing like that. Right. But my, my, my main thing is like, like I said, Mel, we just trying to clear the air and trying to, like, if people knew, that's why I'm here today, it's the real, they'll understand and they'll figure it out. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people didn't know Molly G. Until 1090 stepped in the picture, till we, we like favors, asking people for favors, like begging people for favors, time, money, fuck the money. The money could always come back, but the time and the energy. Like I, I fell out with some of my celebrity friends because they didn't want to do certain things for me, for him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, he pretty much said fuck niggas without saying fuck niggas. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't understand how you could say fuck niggas and niggas got you in your situation, so in your wait, position. Wait, wait. What is he? Was he trying to sign a deal and cut niggas out or some shit? I mean, that's that's. I mean, shit, something like that. Okay. I like we 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 heard that not, not not too long ago, like a couple of days ago, we heard that. Right. Like, oh, he was pretty much saying like, yo, he want to get away from his management. He don't want his management. Like, we did a we did a good job with Marley. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn sure did. You sent me the shit. The post for him that he did in on um, we was at Shaw Rap. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know y'all yeah. set that up. But listen, you know what this, this, what try, this, this, this is what I'm trying. This is what I'm trying to explain to you, Mel's. Like even the O Block situation when we was in Chicago, boy didn't even want to go to O Block. You understand what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I had, to, I'm like yo, bro, this is what this is what we doing. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. shit like that. But when you see the when you see the footage, you think that that was Molly idea. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you from, from everything, Mel's even for the for the Footy Gang video. Mm-hmm. All the ideas, that's coming from home team. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me, Scrap, OP, we put this place together. We mm-hmm. doing certain shit. You know what I'm saying? For, for, for a nigga to really turn around and say, fuck niggas, you don't need niggas. Right. Yo, give me an itemized bill for what y'all spent. An itemized bill? We spent damn near $100,000 on you. Damn. You, you know what I'm saying? Damn. We, we spent damn near hundred k. So it's like, I don't understand it. Like, you help a nigga. You know, you know how I feel, Mel's? I feel used and abused. Because mm-hmm. I, like... I don't get it, Mel's like for real. Like, I don't get it. I really feel used and abused. That shit is disgusting. Un- that's why I ask. I understand what you mean by disloyal now. Right. You know what I'm saying? I understand right. what you mean. Nigga cause... can't say a nigga did a bad job. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, mm-hmm. nigga, nigga did everything. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga did everything. Flight. Marley never spent a dollar on nothing. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to spend a dollar. And even when he when it was time to make money and niggas gave him bread, nigga still wasn't looking his way to spend to to, to spend a dollar on his career. So Scooby, he officially not 1090. Marley not. Hey, bro, that nigga's packed up. <laughs> with the, with the, my son, the baby said, packing the mail, he's going. He's in the mail, he's going. Oh, you put him in the mail, you put a stamp on him. Put a stamp on that nigga, he out. Like, <laughs> like that's, that, that, shit, that, that shit is like, it's, it's a disgusting thing. And then everybody, like I said, they run around saying niggas want clout, niggas are snakes. How are we a snake? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when, when I, I even got, a, I'm on the phone with his day ones, and his day ones told me straight, like, if he cut, us off for of y'all, what you thought he was gonna do to y'all? Mm. And 
that's coming from that's coming from that's coming from his day ones. That's a good point. I even look at it like you, that's a you, good you point. know what I'm saying? Like when I spoke to Scrap and Scrap told me about bro, I ain't I ain't I ain't, I ain't double think it. I ain't no bro. Scrap brought bro to my attention. Mm -hmm. So I already I, I went off I went off like Ah, right, your work is good. This what you this what you doing? I'm standing behind you. I'ma do you I'ma do a, I'm gonna do you the favor to make sure everything go correct. You know what I'm saying? I'ma help you out with managing your artists. I'm gonna mm -hmm. run the management, this your artist to your label tonight music group. And and that was it. Like, so it was like I knew Molly for a year. Within that year, Molly can't say shit wasn't how it was supposed to be. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And like before the shit that Everybody looking at, paying attention to on the internet. Before that happened, we got to altercation. You feel me? We get into an altercation. We got we got to altercation or whatever. We wasn't seeing eye to eye. We wasn't agreeing with each other. We was disagreeing. And days later, niggas try to reach out to bro. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas trying to reach out to bro and and and, 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 and grill things out. You know what I'm saying? Mediate the situation. Yo, listen, brothers get into arguments all the time. Brothers don't always see eye to eye. And he was ducking niggas. He wasn't trying to reach out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how you treat your brother. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's not, that's not what you do to your brother. Mm -hmm. Cool. So don't don't tell me about bro this, bro that, and how niggas is your brother, and niggas can watch somebody put hands on you because you wasn't treating niggas like your brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we wasn't seeing eye to eye, what have you. He decides to delete his Instagram. Just a whole bunch of whole shit. Now, you, like, like, you don't do shit like that. So, um, yeah, so. He deletes his Instagram, then he finally reached out to niggas. And when niggas was talking to him, his, his, his mental, his mind was already made. He started saying, yo, I'm done. I don't want to do business with niggas. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this shit. If niggas want, I'll get the tattoo covered up. Like, if niggas is your brothers, you're not going to move like this. You understand what I'm saying, man? Right, right, right. You're not going to go get your bro your, uh, 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 a piece of your brotherhood covered up because you and your brother got into an altercation. Y'all wasn't seeing eye to eye. Y'all was disagreeing on the situation. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna sit down like men and fix it. Mm -hmm. So before people jump the gun and see see what they see or saw what they saw and make conclusions in their mind, like the first incident when we got into the disagreement didn't make the internet. Mm -hmm. You understand know what I'm saying? It didn't mm -hmm. make the internet. But niggas start talking crazy. I don't need niggas. I'm done with niggas. Mm -hmm. How you done with niggas? And... Niggas got you where you at. That's not how you deal with it. That's not how, it's a way you go about situations, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, niggas had this man running around $150,000 in jewelry. Damn. You know what I'm saying? He he know he he had a, he had an Audemars accessible. He can call anytime to get the out the Audemars. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has certain things to his, to his disposal. Cars, flights. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, like, you name it. Mm -hmm. He had that. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't understand how you could pick up and say you done with niggas. You feel me? When you, when you know all the stuff that niggas did for you and you know that niggas will go above and beyond for you. Mm -hmm. You don't supposed to be done with niggas because of a disagreement. Yeah, that's... Because yeah. you're not seeing eye to eye. So, the first altercation when we wasn't seeing eye to eye ain't hit the internet. But like I said, we so happened to link up, little bro seen him, and it, it went left. Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't, niggas wasn't playing to jump him, niggas ain't, right? Okay, fine, granted. They running oh. around say, they running around saying he was jumped. He was not jumped. And did we watch him get hands put on him? Niggas did tell him to fight back. Mm -hmm. Niggas did tell him to get up and he got him. Niggas say, yo, shoot your shit with the shoot your shit with the bro. But you could act like you could ask him yourself, Mel's didn't did niggas amp you up to do that? Did niggas tell you to do that? That was, that was on your timing. You heard, Pooley? That was your time. Yeah, like, like I was saying, bro, like, family, they got smart ass mouth, bro. I'm like, how you been talking? Mm -hmm. Ran in his shit. I was on him. Mm -hmm. like, feel me? Me personally, ain't nobody whooping my ass like that. I don't know. Right, you feel right. Me? Like, nobody jumped him. Feel me? You could have got up and shot your shit. I let you get up. Told you get up. Feel me? But they gonna, the media gonna make it the, what they want it to be. So that's out of my hands. That's why I don't give a fuck. I still fuck the ops. The, in, the right. internet is crazy right now. They saying, like, like, and it go back to niggas having hidden agendas. Mm -hmm. Like, who's really the snake in the grass? Did you use niggas as a stepping stone? And was you an opportunist? Like, yo, these niggas can help me. Let me jump on this offer. Let me fuck with these niggas. Because that's what it seems like to me. Like, mm -hmm. you, had a, you had a hidden agenda to fuck with niggas. 
get where you wanted to be, get where you was going, and say, yo, fuck niggas. Yeah, what's going on? Because like I explained to you, man, I was like, you don't get in a... You and your friends, close friends, probably argue all the time, yes. right or wrong? Yo, scrap. Right. Yo, we in middle. Yo, we in middle. Hold of on. The interview, that, that's bro. that's actually bro right there. Hello. Hello. Yo, yeah, OP the phone. But yeah, you know what I'm saying, man. Like, keep it real. Like, you you, you and your dogs get into disagreements all the time. Y'all right. don't always see the eye, eye to eye. And you've been in the streets. You probably right. done got physical with some of your dogs before. Right. And y'all still dogs. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like. The shit, and as far as the label shit, the word was like, um, he was hit, he was hit, he was backtracking on certain labels and certain people, telling people, hey, what's up? Um, let me get rid of my management that I'm with. Let me get out of the situation I'm in now, and let me, um, I'm I'm willing to get a situation going. Mm -hmm. Like that's not real nigga shit. Nah. You about to leave the niggas that you started with. You about to leave the niggas that made you first priority. Mm -hmm. Niggas woke up. No homo slept, ate, and shit Molly. Everything revolved around Molly. Mm. Everything. Niggas put they self last for Molly. Niggas made Molly a first priority. Mm. He'll tell you that. Mel's, I'm talking about, I don't even want to tap in on certain shit because it's going to make it look like, yo, you bringing this up. No, I need the, I need the people to know. Mm -hmm. So it's like, when you do so much for somebody and then you get smacked in the face, how you going to feel as a man? Right. And it's, I, I was watching shit for the last minute where... I see Coach, Co um, not Coach K, QCP saying how artists will start with management or start with people and then be at the finish line with a whole different set of people. Damn, and you know he's seen it. He up there. <laughs> like this whole shit left a bad taste in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I was literally Molly's day to day. And for us to get into an altercation and niggas trying to patch it up and fix it, and he turned around and said what he said and did what he did, that was nasty. So like I said, so when the world see what they saw, when him and little bro got physical and why niggas ain't stop it, it's, it's more to the story. Nah, cool. You know what I'm saying? When, when, when Marley needed something done, who was there? Niggas are stepping on it. Marley need that, who was there? Niggas are stepping on it. Marley got to go, Yo, go there. Yo, that's my phone, bro. Pause so. up. When nigga, when, when, when nigga got to go there, who was there? Niggas stepping on it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, not even just music. Niggas is helping a nigga with his livelihood. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? This shit, don't, this shit is bigger than music. This shit deeper than music. This don't got nothing to do with it. Yo, what is studio? Make tracks, record, video, perception, image. No, this shit, like, niggas is, niggas is trying to build. Niggas is trying to bomb. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. a nigga, a nigga, a nigga willing to true. That's, that's how true it is. A nigga willing to go the extra mile. A nigga, help out, help your family out. Nah, that's real shit. You know what I'm saying you can't, you can't yeah, defuse, you can't def right and you can't defuse a situation. So don't tell me I'm not your brother because I ain't step in when you got when it got physical for you. Because mm -hmm. when me and you got into this disagreement and our and our altercation and it was time to fix it, I show niggas your ass, then you mm -hmm. ran and try to get a situation behind niggas back. When niggas had your back from day one, I didn't know Marley. You know what I'm saying I met Marley and vibed with him and treated him equal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To the point where niggas is dishing out money, and when money, when, when little money come back in, cause we street niggas, the big bag ain't even come yet, and niggas showing their true colors. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? saying so, right. so, so when the little, when, when niggas dish out money and little money come in, niggas is breaking it. Niggas, yo, here, this you. And anything we'll take or anything I took or 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 or, or, or subtracted, yo, this is going towards this. Mm -hmm. So you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like. So I don't get it. He said, yo, niggas, like, I, I, don't, I don't get it, man. I was like, this, yo, this so, shit, this shit So crazy. right now, right now with the whole 1090 movie, y'all, y'all back in, y'all back in Pootie all the way. It's like, yeah, that's Yeah, Pootie, the... Pootie that, that's actually OP artist. Oh, word? Yeah, like, Scrap was, like, like, Marley was Scrap's artist. Mm -hmm. This is, this OP artist. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I'm good at what I do, and I know what I do. Like, anything I put my hands on, that's gold. You feel what I'm saying? Like, no, of course, so, of course. I'm, I'm involved, you know, I'm, I'm involved, I'm gonna take care of certain things, I'm gonna make sure certain things are taken care of, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? So, like I said, that's, 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 that's what these are. No doubt. Like, I'm, I'm looking at the internet now, shit is crazy. Yeah. Like, they, like, they, like, people gonna talk, but people not gonna know the pain, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the, the work, the effort, the money. They gonna look, they always gonna look at shit one-sided and one way. Mm -hmm. It's not one way. This shit, mm -hmm. this shit, this is a two-way street. No. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the, the same people that's voicing their opinion, they ain't put no, they ain't help out with no finance. Mm -hmm. The same people that's voicing their opinion, when it was time for him to get back and forth to probation, 
he was calling niggas. Mm-hmm. Well, it was time to go flights. Flight, you, know, you know how much a red eye flight is? You know how much it is to leave to go somewhere the same day? Most of our flights was like that. Mm-hmm. Most of our flights was like that. Mm-hmm. So when you tell me about an itemized bill, I feel like you're smacking me in my face saying, nigga, fuck what you did. I'm willing to pay you back. Mm-hmm. And are you really? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I came to the realization, like, like, he didn't want to win with niggas when, when niggas was willing to do anything to make him win. Mm-hmm. And we did anything to make him win. Mm-hmm. Like, I had people say, yo, his, his music is good. His music was good. How good? You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I know niggas with great music that the things that we did, it would have never got him. You feel what I'm saying? Like an 808 cosign, a G Herbo cosign. These niggas ain't do, these niggas that this shit ain't do shit because the music was hot. They did shit because niggas put their face on it. Mm-hmm. Yo, this, this little bro, this what we doing. This what's up. So I want to hear yo, his music. I'm not, I'm not taking nothing from him. His music is good. But what I'm trying to say is, don't forget the key. The key players and the key points. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. G Herbo. Like, you, you never met G Herbo. Mm-hmm. PlayStation Theater. You know what I had to go through to get him to perform that PlayStation Theater? For him to turn around because we got into a disagreement and say, fuck niggas. Mm-hmm. I had to hit niggas up, bag niggas, to the point my weight wasn't strong enough. I had to get somebody involved that had the weight to get involved. And what happened? Marley did the biggest show of his career from last year, October, to this this year, September. Mm-hmm. PlayStation Theater. Some, 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 some neighborhood rappers, Never got a chance to perform there before. And it, it wasn't even like niggas paid to get him on the show. That's niggas' face and muscle. Now that's a big venue too. That's PlayStation a huge venue. there for Lil Dirt and a Lil Chopper. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. So you so so when I say ungrateful and unappreciated, you gotta understand why I'm saying that. It's a reason behind that. No, Cause I'm feeling used and abused. I'm feeling like I'm feeling like I got pimped. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like <laughs> if he don't got a promising career with music after this, which which he probably do, he need to be a pimp. Because I feel <laughs> pimp. You feel what I'm saying? I, now I, now, I, now I, I see what niggas be talking about when their girlfriend is is, is not a, 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 uh, performs a certain way. Not even to compare the nigga to a bitch, but that's bitch shit. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? That, 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 that should leave a nasty taste in my, ma- my mouth and, and, a, and a bad feeling in my stomach. Yeah, let me say this. As the active founder and first artist of 1090, I want to tell everyone this. This was never a clout move. This was never about chasing clout. Like, you feel me? Like, oh, man. I'm sorry. Like, it's just so much on my brain. Cause you feel me? So speak and then show them. How, how many times a day we argue? It's 24 hours in a day. How many times nah, a day? Nah, this is what I'm trying to show you. Look. Now, I'm asking you a quick question. How many times a day we argue? All the time. Like, <laughs> and, and, and when it was time to go to tour. Fact, when was, I'm new to the group. And when it was time to go to tour, what I did as a man and as your brother. You feel me? You did went beyond length. You sold your watch just to go on tour with me. You did shit that no one would do. That's what we're trying to show you. All right, my brother, for instance. My brother did things that I thought I could never see him do. You feel me? He put his son. His, his mom, his his own situation. My brother's fighting a big case as everyone, as the media publicizes. Mm-hmm. He put all of that for, aside for one person. And for someone to throw salt or throw dirt in your face, like everyone is a man of emotion. Everyone has feelings. So even if he might not feel the way at the moment, you're going to have people that hear it. Like For instance, Pootie, they might hear it and then they want to take it upon themselves. Like, yo, that could have been me. So if you could do that, imagine what you could do to anybody. Like, this is one thing we're trying to say. So then, and then well, I just want to emphasize this. When people saying I probably sat there and I watched it happen. Like, I, I, it's probably from where we grew up. Like, I always felt like a man should stand on their own too at the end of the day. Like, yeah, families get into fight arguments. Like, it's probably not the nicest scene you've seen, but... At the end of the day, men is going to be men. Everyone is never going to agree. If we all agreed, we wouldn't be men at the end of the day. This is how I feel. Like, you feel me? And then I want to say this again. Like, I, this was never a clout move. Like, we're not going to take his talent away from him or nothing. Some people is posting, like, it's probably over a password or certain shit. It's about creative control. Everybody could see that we had a bigger vision for Marley. If you go back to his career, he was rapping before. He branded himself with the 1090 name, and it didn't do good. Once he got with us, we took his career to a whole nother level. This is what I'm trying to show you. So it's like, if y'all can't see that, then I don't know what y'all can see Like at the end of the day. And me as an artist at the end of the day, I even put my career aside. My brother put my career aside 
just to show this kid a, a way of life, to show him a difference in life. Like we introduced him to family, gave him, we did way more than a management company did. So like, like or a label, a I, label I like, 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 to cut you off. Like I was there, like I said, I was pretty much like Marley's day to day. I was there, like me and Marley, like, like it, it, it hurt too because like I, like I said, I was the day to day pretty much. I was there, you know what I'm saying? So in my mind, I'm like, yeah, we going through the struggles together. Cause mm -hmm. we not rich. We in the streets. Mm -hmm. So imagine spending money that you put up, getting money, spending the money, not saving no more, just spending, 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 taking loans, owing niggas in debt. And then that, in your mind, you're like, yo, we, we in this together. Mm -hmm. And this shit goes sideways. You know how that feel? You be like, nah, oh, the, 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 the emoji on Instagram with the head blown off. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I that's, was, that's where the ungrateful part because everybody was like yo but, but, no 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 but, 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 but because according to him he's not ungrateful right. but I got people around me I got I got witnesses that niggas done this shit for the nigga mm -hmm. he ain't even say thank you sometimes you, it, it, it don't hurt to have courtesy and you, consideration you, you think y'all could have spoiled the nigga though I, 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 you know what I'm trying to say I ain't even like, like, gonna do that because he ain't a kid he a grown ass man right 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 so we ain't gonna make it seem like we spoiled him or we bitched him because that's we was never looking for a yes man Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then if 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 you're gonna say that, spoil him. Like if we didn't play the part that we played, then niggas would have said we didn't do enough for them at the end of the day. Like okay. we probably wasn't trying to do enough for them. That's a good answer. We tried to do the most we could, but we, you feel me? We, we did we, used everything we had, all our resources, anything we had for him at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. and, and and that's a fact. Like I said, I was his day to day, so I remember being in Miami with Molly. And we go on the scrap trip in Miami, we in Miami and scrap call. I'm like, oh, what's good, bro? What's cracking with you? He like, yo, what's popping? I'm like, hey, nothing, we here, we cooling. He like, yo, man, like, yo, you don't even gotta go take bro shopping, or y'all don't even gotta spend no accessory money, excessive money. I got shit in my crib that I never wore. Like, mm. come through Molly, we go. I'm saying, nigga, go, that's going out your way. Man, he, he go shopping to, in his closet. To give a like, nigga yo. shit that a nigga never wore. So, so, so it's like you, like you give so much and get back so little in return. Mm -hmm. Cause like I said, like niggas running around trying to make it seem like what is it? Make it seem like, make it, make it seem like what it's not. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like OP said, like I, I told you earlier, I, I, I'm not talking to certain celebrity friends cause of Molly. Mm -hmm. And then now that, now that me and Molly not talking, I can't even, I, my, my important friendships, not saying our friendship wasn't important, it don't even matter no more. Because I flexed on them because they didn't want to do something for me, for him, and I kicked them to the curve. Mm -hmm. And all I'm going to say is, like, with the internet, people going to always make stories or assumptions or speak on what they don't know. It's always two sides to a story. So if anybody thinks, like, like it's just one-sided, like, oh, we just terrorize this kid. No, why would we want to hurt something that we built at the end of the day? Like, that, that's the dumbest thing. But we can't stop a man from having emotions. Pooty is his own person at the end of the day. People mm -hmm. deal with emotions. like So it's like, it's just so much. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I, before you even chimed in, I, I said, Pooty, niggas ain't tell Pooty to do that. We're not, we, this ain't no fucking army. Yo, yes, sir. No, sir. You know what I'm saying? We ain't tell that man to do that. This, he 18. And then when we, and, then when we, and, and this the whole thing, it wasn't like, like we, we, when we, Decided to bring Marley into 1090 Music Group. It was as a business decision. And then we in, enter in, en, end up insinuating him into our family at the end of the day. So it's like, bro, family's gonna have disagreements, arguments. Like, yeah, it probably went to the internet. That probably wasn't the right way about it, but people, that once again, once you hurt someone, emotions come into play. Everyone is human at the end of the day. That everyone can say what they want. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, he's I, 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 I could imagine he hurt. I know he hurt. And I'm saying, I, and I, I'm hurt. You feel what I'm saying? I'm hurt. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. And then I hear everybody running around. It's an Instagram password thing. No. You know what I'm saying? It's not an Instagram password thing. It's not because of Instagram password. It's because it's, it's of what happened after the, the first incident. Mm -hmm. It's not because of Instagram password. You feel what I'm saying? You don't, you don't tell niggas they're your brothers and they say, yo, I'll go get this tattoo or I'll go get this shit covered up. They was never your brothers. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? You don't tell niggas, yo, I don't need niggas. I don't need nothing from niggas no more. I do this shit my own. I, I'm good. You don't tell that to niggas. All right. that, 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 I, I, this is my last time, buddy. Okay. If it was about an Instagram password, that wasn't the case. It's always bigger than what it seems. Mm -hmm. It's about creative control. If we didn't ever have creative control with his career from the beginning, it wouldn't be where it is now. If any management, any management knows this, like, an artist might not, I sometimes don't see the vision, 
as an artist that someone might have for me because I'm not in their shoes. But you have to take it into consideration. If it doesn't work out good for you, then you go against it. You argue against it. You don't automatically argue against it from once you hear it. Like, yo, niggas got too much control of me. So why did you sign up for what you signed up for at the end of the day? Mm. That, that doesn't make sense. Where, where, where control comes trust. So if you don't trust us with control, then you don't trust us at all. But how do you trust us to invest our money into you but not trust us with little things? Like, that doesn't, that's, that's not, that's, that's not... Like, that that's sounds, not meeting us. You're not even sounds, meeting us 50-50 at the end of the day. That sounds a snake shit. Mm -hmm. Because I, cut, I got scrapped Instagram up. Uh, I, I got several people I deal with password. It, they don't, they, I don't got it for no reason. I think I'm still signed into Lil Bro phone. I just, I OP new Pootie for months now. I'm just meeting Pootie and vibing with Pootie. Look, Mills. I'm on his gram. Mm -hmm. That's what managers do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not. I'm not here to conversate, to see if you're a freaky nigga, to see if you're <laughs> talking about niggas. I'm nasty. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm here. No, seriously, real, 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 real shit. Good. I'm here to catch what you don't catch. Yo, I need your password because you might not be using your leverage. You might not be flexing your muscle. So I will drop a comment or emoji under a celebrity picture to bait for them to, to reach back. Mm -hmm. I might catch something you don't catch that come through your DM. Mm -hmm. so a feature might cool. fall through that you need or that, 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 that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's good for finance and I'm, I'm on top of that. Something like that Nigga, happened to me before. Trust me. Niggas can't tell me nothing. Prince Pootie got a hundred plus requests in his DM. Mm -hmm. It's no way an active rapper is gonna check that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's One more thing, I'm gonna touch a button in. But I gotta get this in. All right, with Marley. I'm, no one's trying to take his talent away from him. But with talent comes ego and responsibility. So at the end of the day, you might not in, um, interact with the people that you think is best for your career. And we might know what's best for you because you don't know at the time. Like With Marley's career, as you can see, like, I, I, I don't want to try to go and look. Like His talent plays a part, yes. Maybe some people wouldn't want to do a song with him if he was whack. But G Herbal, number one. That been a uh, link we had. Mm -hmm. 808. Ben Links, Jay Green, Jay Green, Lou got cash, all of these things. I'm not even trying to put people name into it. I'm just trying to give y'all a vision. Fabio, of not, not even cut you, bro, because I remember, I remember, I remember when I lined up the song, because like I said, like a lot of shit that y'all seen, niggas ain't, and niggas still not gonna get the credit for it, even when we say we lined that up. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like the Fabio and JD feature. I went out my way, yo, Fabio, Marley G. Who, 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 Marley? Scrap art. Oh, scrap artist? It's done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Say, what's the nigga say? Scrap artist. So it's like, sir, like he said, all those links? Come on, bro. You can't tell me you, you would have got all those, those cosign and links yourself? Mm -hmm. And niggas ain't like, ah, uh, like, niggas would be here all day, man. Mm -hmm. like, let's go back to like, like I said, a lot of shit that the fans and the people and the other side seen about Molly G. Just know, niggas, niggas were standing on that. You know what I'm saying? Nigg yeah. nigg niggas were standing on that. Niggas stood on that. You know what I'm saying? He can't, like, I, like I said, like, everything. Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's niggas creative directing. Nah, I believe. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's niggas doing artist development. Remember, you was hitting me, trying to, like, yo, you was hitting me. You know and, I know. And, and, you, and you know the situation. Yeah. Like I said, like, and niggas you, is men, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever. And you can't lie. You was giving me the cold shoulder. And I was so persistent you and were. determined about, because I won't even say my artist. The situation, you know what I'm saying? I was so persistent that I kept going. Yo, Mel's, come on, Mel's. We seen him do a million, Mel. Even though I knew you wasn't even fucking with him, you're not mm -hmm. gonna sugarcoat nothing. Mm -hmm. Mel's, you tell me, I ain't fucking with the boy. The boy came at me, <laughs> the old boy. I'm mm -hmm. good. And I said, Mel's, please, Mel. Because he talking shit to me on the internet for no reason. The nigga was talking shit to me on the internet for no reason. And you a real nigga, you know why? Because shake my hand, part on the left. You know, you know why you a real nigga? You posted him. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so a lot of shit, the people that's talking shit and, and, and saying shit, they ain't gonna see. They don't know what I went through. They don't know what I've been through. They mm -hmm. don't know how much I have to, how I have to, how, how I have to make this mouthpiece work. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, 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 they don't know. And they, they will never know. Because this right. right here ain't even gonna be a good summary. Right. So when niggas calling me a snake, a snake? How? Because a, 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 a child? Is he 18? I'm 27. Mm -hmm. Put hands on you, and, and I ain't jump in. Mm -hmm. It went to Instagram, but guess what? It might have had to go there. 
Because sometimes you need a reality check. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. It, it may have to go there. And if niggas was clout chasers and Instagram niggas, we would have spoke about the first situation. Mm-hmm. Hello? Right. But we not, no, we not no Instagram niggas, so we not going to talk about the first situation or the, the previous one. Yo. Right. Well, yeah, go, yo, bro. before we close out though, bro, yo, let everybody, um, Pootie, let everybody hold on, know. Hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. That's actually scrapping the line. Hold on, scrap. Like, you want to like, talk? Yeah, like, yeah. You want to shit? Yo. Who we got on the line? We got scrap on the line? Yeah, never. Hold. Yeah. Yo, what's good, my yo. guy? Yo, man. Um, when you touch it down, how the case going and everything, bro? I'll be home soon. Like, all I got to say about this whole shit, bro, is like, basically, we, like, uh, niggas just show how ungrateful and disloyal they are to say that. Niggas, niggas, I, like, I took that nigga as my little brother, you feel know I me? Mean? And I did everything for him priority wise. Like, I all put myself on the back burner. I'm going through my own shit. And it's like I exercise every link and cosign I have myself for him. And for him to have an altercation with niggas and just say like he wanna be done with this shit, not pertaining to the altercation that happened with him and little bro. Just an argument beforehand for him to say, yo, he wanna be done and niggas was having an altercation about management purposes. And it's like that shit is crazy. Like niggas took him in, niggas brought him around, niggas family, niggas get us cars, juggle his clothes, let him hang out, you feel me? And niggas besides rap, niggas personal life as priority too, not let alone his career. And for him to say fuck niggas, like this is how this shit happen, but at the end of the day, this is the way of the universe. Like we all not gonna sit here and act like Molly wasn't rapping, gangster rap. Me, he was big GDK and all of this. Like, nobody knew Molly beforehand. Like, the walls co signed them off of my face, you feel me? Off of niggas' face. You feel me? Like, a lot of niggas, and it's like, for you to use niggas as a stepping stool and say, like, yo, I'm done with niggas after an argument, like, where's the loyalty? Like, how how is niggas supposed to feel behind that? Like, niggas stamp true at 1090. Like, Molly, a lot of people saying, like, Molly. Help make 1090 and all this. Like, niggas then had rapper friends, multiple rapper friends, multiple rappers pull niggas up, multiple rappers know who niggas are. And I'm I'm just a young nigga coming up out the streets. Like, I ain't even start my rap career or anything I wanted to pursue. And uh, niggas already got these cosigns where these niggas love me and my dogs and shout all of us out. Like, OP been around doing features with big artists platinum artists and it's like you feel me i don't know where niggas is getting this from like where was molly before he met 1090 like let's go back and look at who molly was before he met 1090 like molly was dropping music like niggas helped him and helped his career now let's look at where he's at that the 1090 stood behind him and made the whole hood stand behind him because nobody could tell you who molly was before niggas brought him outside, you understand? Like, he was on the porch, bro. Like, niggas been off the porch, and you feel me? Like, niggas just put him out there and gave him the exposure he needed, and niggas was looking at it as also a brother thing and an investment. Like, he wanted to say fuck niggas, and niggas invested almost they all into you, meaning they time, niggas invested they funds, they links, and for you to just turn around and say, yo, I don't want to do business with niggas, that was like a slap in the face. And see, little bro, the young little bro that put hands on him is only 18. It's not like niggas was trying to jump Molly or anything like that or did any snake shit. Like, little bro is only 18, bro. And he put hands on him for the love that he got for niggas. And Molly had the right to fight back. It's not like niggas was jumping him or niggas had him in a situation squared off where there was a bunch of niggas on him and if he did anything like from my knowledge niggas seen the type of nigga he is so niggas just let him go and this is why niggas co-signed it and it hit the internet like niggas ain't internet niggas there's plenty more shit that happens like amongst each other and in the streets just with other brothers and that shit don't hit the internet niggas just 
exposed to fake because it's like you saying fuck niggas and you use and abuse niggas so niggas just coast on that shit like you feel me but as businessmen niggas don't niggas they don't want to hurt molly niggas they ain't want to do nothing to molly like it was just fucked up what he did to niggas and how the universe work is you feel me he got a taste of his own medicine and it's crazy he got a taste of his own medicine but the little bro pootie and pootie 18 bro molly 23 like all he could have fought back, all of this, niggas feeling like niggas snake them because they hit the internet, like, that's just the universe, bro, this is how this shit work, like, you speak this gangster shit, you running around rapping this gangster shit, and it's like, I wouldn't want any ties with him after this, because it's like, you rapping all this, you doing all this, this is like another Takashi. Damn. Damn. So, so just basically because, you know, like y'all invested a lot of time and stuff in him and he just didn't want to, um, he was ready to drop 1090 as his management? Yeah, like he was talking about like covering up his tattoo because of him and dozens had an altercation before and, and it's like niggas was still investing in him after that and a whole bunch of things that I don't want to put out there and it's just like, it's like, it's like you just use niggas as a platform because you know what niggas had and you got to where you want it. And I don't know if in his head he feel like he's better than niggas where he like, yo, fuck these niggas. You feel me? Like, I don't know. Dozens could get into more details because he's here and he's dealing with this shit firsthand. Like, Dozens said his day once called niggas too and said, like, yo, they knew this was going to happen. You understand? Like, he left them for niggas. And now he got where he want with niggas and what he think he gonna come back to them. They said like he can't he can't come back over there like Damn. It's crazy. I was like, I don't even wanna be talking about this. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to I'm not trying to destroy the nigga career. Just me personally being the real nigga I am and the person I am in the street. He could go his way, I just want to clear the air, you feel me? Because niggas saying snake shit, if niggas was snake, niggas, like, that was a snake move from the jump, knowing that you used and abused niggas, and you know in the future you was going to want to go your way. Like, what was the point of tying something if you wasn't fully in 110%? Like, everybody have fights with their brothers, everybody do this, everybody do that. You're going to have arguments, niggas is men, you feel me? For you to make your mind up, is like, you been had a hidden agenda, and... That's what it was. And, mm. at the, and the whole time when you were screaming free scrap, screaming 10 9 knowing all of that, it, you didn't make it seem to the people that it wasn't that like. Mm. Right, right. So, like, you know, he, like, um, OP had just said it, it made, you know, y'all invited him to meet your family. So, y'all took him in as a brother even more than just an artist. Yeah, because not even not before scrap, yeah, tap niggas, in, but before you, before, before you, before you, hold on. Hold on, scrap. Hold on, scrap. Because it is like it show you about the level of disrespect and not being a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because after, even after the, even even after the, the situation, I still been in contact with his moms and being respectful and, and trying to, you know what I'm saying? And, and and when the first altercation took place, when scrap mother was reaching out to boy, he he he, he wouldn't even he wasn't even trying to answer for her. Mm. So about ten people reached out to him and he wasn't answering for nobody at all. It's like, mm. and these are people that was not in his life a year ago, but this whole year that it was his for his. He wasn't calling his friends for anything. He was calling people that he didn't know for things, mm. and it was doing it for him off the strength of me and mom. You feel me? Like. Just niggas' word was that solid that people were sending him money, doing whatever he needed. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to lowball him because I'm a real nigga, but I just got to speak on the fact. I'm not going to go into what niggas was giving him money for, but just know niggas was giving him money for every little thing. Food, shelter, transportation, anything. You understand? Like, mm. it's like... Like, how would, how would you feel? How, how would anybody felt that was a nigga's shoes? Like, no, of course, of course. Yeah, that's, um, you know, that's real disloyal or whatever, you know, very disloyal. 
And then if you want to compare and contrast, I got we got a whole lot of rapper friends. I asked, I asked big rappers and up and coming rappers. They said what? Mm -hmm. All my, you know how much people got my Instagram password? Mm -hmm. I said, oh shit. <laughs> I said, oh shit. Wow, that's, that's some that's shit. That's some next shit. Yeah, and it's like this beyond all of that. It's like, it's like I don't understand. Like I don't understand how you could be gang, gang, and niggas is your brothers, and then tomorrow you're ready to turn on niggas. Yeah. Like that's 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 why niggas just up and left him so quick too. Like we we're not gonna sit here and like yeah, niggas co-signed it. Yeah, little bro violated him, but that's just the way of life, bro. Like you give out. You get what you give out, like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You gave niggas a shitty end of the stick and niggas gave it back to you. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. And that's what, that, that, that makes sense. That's a, but you gotta live and you gotta learn, though. That's a fact. Oh, uh, bro. Yeah, like, niggas ain't trying to sabotage the nigga's career. Just go, nigga. Like, people know you for who you are now, like. Do, do what you want to do. Like, I, I want to see him do it on his own. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Nah. That's it. Like, I ain't really got nothing to say about the little niggas. You feel me? Like, niggas is still going to be them at the end of the day. Like, niggas' life don't stop here. Nigga, niggas been living their life. Niggas been slept in their cars, jewelry. You feel me? In the spotlight. Like, niggas, he know me for that. He, he know niggas for that. Like, Tell me, like, come on. Facts, facts. This shit ain't stopped with Molly, bro. And everybody knows that. Like, besides uh, the fans that he has now by himself, everybody that knows us and know him knows. Like, you understand? Like, uh, niggas know niggas been outside. Niggas been getting money. Niggas been around the people. Like, this shit is regular shit to niggas. That's a fact. All right, and I'm going to say this. Master Music Group, we made it to be better, to build people and go up. You understand? You feel me? It wasn't made to stay where we was at, to stay on the street level. We, we, we trying to become businessmen, so with business becomes trial and error. You got to live to learn. So this is with one of our life lessons for him and us at the end of the day. So like for people seeing that we the bad guys, y'all got to look at that both hands. There ain't only one bad guy. So y'all could say, because someone in our label now got physical with the artist, that's on y'all's opinion, you feel me? Mm -hmm. That's it, that's all I got to say.